What's up YouTube? Quinn here with 74 Weld. Wanted to spend a few minutes talking about our two gear portal, how it developed, how it came to the design that it is today. And while it's not a big audience and we don't produce a ton of these, it's kind of a pet project for me that was developed out of a passion for rock crawling. Um, my background really in the crawling stuff came 20 years ago. I started going to Johnson Valley and wheeling with friends out there. Um, and early on around 2006, 2007, um, one of the guys in my group bought a set of Unimog axles or built a set of Unimog takeout axles in a, in a crawler and a four wheel steer application. So early 2000s, um, Johnson Valley is really where this stuff came out of. And it was an evolutionary process. Um, originally, the Unimog stuff is a cast, uh, a cast iron housing with a two gear gear set into a forged um, steel knuckle. And so the knuckles were always pretty strong. Um, but the gears would blow out the boxes. So we made a box for it, um, slowly started making additional components for it. And the original Unimog stuff actually ended up in a race car. Um, and it kind of developed out of that. And we found we had replaced every item in the, bo in the box itself with the exception of the gear set, developed our own gear set and had a two gear version. And then when we started moving everything to unit bearings is when this kind of developed. Um, so, you know, I had, I had a, what you would call an ultra four buggy back in the day. And this was actually before ultra four even became a thing. Um, I was out there wheeling with a bunch of friends and a couple of them were on portals. I actually was not, um, but, the development of this whole product came out of that. And so being involved in rock crawling and being on the ground in that stuff, you'd see what breaks, what doesn't. And so we'll talk about specific development of this. Um, I wanted to go away from the Unimog gear set, which had the gear and the final drive spindle all in one unit. And since I wasn't going to forge that myself, we ended up going with a Spider Tracks unit bearing. The reason behind that, as opposed to just a Super Duty bearing, Spider Tracks uses different materials for the spindle, um, and it's it's just an item that it doesn't fail. You still see guys in Ultra Four race on this same bearing pack. Um, this portal is it's a seventy seventy five full billet machined knuckle. We have a fabricated inner. We're working on a full machined inner. We run one inch uniballs top and bottom with a massive spread on these. And that spread helps with strength. Um, the steering arm on this was, we did a bunch of calculations on it. So it's, it's designed to turn 45 degrees with a standard um, two and a half inch hydraulic ram. It's rated for 25,000 pounds of force. The most force you're ever going to put out with a hydraulic system currently on the market is about 10,000 pounds. Um, and we run a Spider Tracks Dana 60 yoke on the upper. Quick specs on it. We have all the specs on our website, but I wanted to talk about a little bit of the background of this. Um, so. I'll say that this is our most expensive product to make and least profitable. And I'll still always make it because I always just kind of say I'm still a rock donkey at heart. I love rock crawling. Um, I think the sport is super niche, but the guys that are into it are super passionate about it. And so I kind of want to still support that aspect of it because um, it's just, it's, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Um, my experience has always been around the Unimog 404 stuff. 
uh, Jesse Haynes has taken the Humvee platform and brought that to rock crawling. And I think what Jesse has done to the market is phenomenal. I think that um, he's brought a ton of awareness to the benefits of a portal and it's hands down the most used out there. Um, a lot of that I think is a cost thing. This is just an expensive product. Um, and I guess let's talk a little bit about gear sets between the Humvee and the Unimog and then ours. Um, gear strength is directly proportional to gear width and gear center lines. This is, and gear width matters, but not nearly as much as gear center line. So this is a four and a quarter gear center. Uh, the Humvee is a little bit less. Um, when we designed this unit, we took a lot of lessons learned from working with Unimog stuff. So the two case halves seal with an O-ring as opposed to RTV or anything like that. Um, so we try to mitigate leaking and all that. The Spider Tracks unit bearings, they're expensive, but it's a super good quality product. Um, this was kind of don't, no expenses spared on it. So I don't think this will ever be a product for everyone. I don't think that it's going to take over rock crawling. I do think that it's the best product that we can produce. And for what you want to do, um, if you're in the crawling world and you really want to get into something nice, I think it's the best product out there. Um, I would say that in development over this, over time, um, so this is all 40 spline upper, 40 spline lower. Um, it's a pretty simple platform. It's pretty easy to service. We've got a handful of them out there. Um, and we've got a ton more in the works right now. It seems that it's taken about two years for this to kind of really take, take seat, but we've got 50 more of these in production right now. Um, they're all gonna be built the same in, I buy as much Spidertrax components as I can put into this. Spidertrax will actually be making our, a one piece upper stub for us. Um, reason being, they make a super good quality product and if I can run stuff that's already out there um, and make as few components as possible, I will. Uh, I'll say that for more info on this, you've got several of the kind of hardcore guys that wheel Arizona, Johnson Valley, um, a lot of Cougar Buttes, tons of trips to Sand Hollow. Um, check them out. I know James Burson, uh, Treadworks on Instagram. He, he posts a ton of info on this stuff or lots of videos. Um, we've got a couple other sets in the works that are going to be rolling out this year. But any questions on the two gear stuff, drop it here. Um, FK rod ends. This is really, if you're going to be in the crawler field and you want what we're going to say, I'm going to argue is the best quality product out there. This is it. It's, it's what we've got and we're pretty happy with it. So questions, comments, let me know. I'll try to answer those and we'll dive into a couple other platforms. Thanks guys.